Hi everyone and welcome to the Organic Modeling with Wasp tutorial series. I decided to do this very short video to give you a bit of an overview of how this tutorial series will go as it's going to be a little bit of a different format. So rather than being a longer series that we run over a, sequence, uh, a lot of time, I'm going to be releasing the four main tutorials of this series all together next week, one every day from Monday till Thursday and then I'm going to be releasing a couple of bonus tutorials which will relate to new features in Rhino 7 and in the beta version of Wasp in one or two weeks after that. And the idea is really to kind of have this much more condensed format where you could actually go through the examples much quicker and let me know what do you think about it and if you enjoy this format, I'll try to do more of this kind of tutorials in the future. So what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be seeing how we can use WASP not only to model these discrete combinatorial uh, structures which you have learned from the WASP 101 tutorial series, but also structures that are much more continuous and so we're going to see how we can use a combination of WASP and Weaverbird that is a plugin for uh, mesh topology manipulation to create very smooth organic-like structures. And so we're going to go through a series of tutorials which are going to learn how to set up a basic aggregation. We're going to see how then we can take some of the attributes of this aggregation, make them parametric in order to edit them after aggregation, and then convert this structure that we generated into a mesh that we can then smooth and edit in a variety of ways. So we're going to see how using a relatively simple setup you can create a huge variety of output as well as how we can apply the same uh, methodology and the same thinking to different uh, discrete systems that you might create with WASP. So I hope that it's going to be interesting. So I'm, as I said I'm going to release the first tutorial on uh, Monday and I'm going to release all of them from Monday till Friday, each of them at, um, at 10 at Central European time. and I really hope that you will enjoy this tutorial. You can run these tutorials using either the WASP version that you can find on Food for Rhino or using the WASP beta version. There might be slight differences, but you should be able to figure out how to do that. And I'm going to provide you uh, the files I'm going to provide. I'm going to be for the WASP version that is on Food for Rhino, but you should be able to update them. And I'm going to anyway put a video linked uh, for you in order where you will be able to see how to update these files and change them. So um, that's it for this introduction. So I hope that you will enjoy this tutorial. I'll see you on Monday with the first tutorial. You can feel free to subscribe to the channel so you're going to get and also click the notification bell so that you're going to get notification every time one of the tutorials comes out. And you can also join the Discord channel so that you can discuss and share your work. So. I'm really excited for this tutorial. I hope you will be too and you will enjoy too. So see you on Monday and be ready. Bye.